Hi there, I'm Don Samulak, the President of U.S. Operations at Editage, and I have the pleasure of sitting here beside Judy Versus, the Executive VP of Research at Wiley. Uh, we're at the STM annual meeting in Philadelphia, and Judy just gave an incredible keynote this morning on uh, the, the, the moral compass and the, the future of publishing, and I just thought we'd sit and ask a couple of questions. And so the first question, really, Judy, is, uh, well, first of all, thank you, oh, thank you. Uh, for this time. And the first question is, um, what do you really see on the horizon in the next year? What really excites you about what's coming down the pike in the next year? Yeah, that's a, a great question, and, and it kind of feathers into the discussion that I had at STM today in terms of the researcher as our North Star. So what excites me about the future is this refocus on the researcher and what's going to make the researcher way more effective in what they do. And to me, that's going to be the greatest source of innovation in the future um, in this space. Okay, so in, in thinking about the researcher then, what, what advice would you give a researcher who is about to sit down to write their paper and get it published in either one of your journals or somewhere in the landscape? Yeah, no, but maybe there's two pieces of advice. So one is very self-serving, and I'll do that last. Um, but the first one, as an early career researcher and just starting out, take advantage of mentorship in your space. I mean, you've got to find the right people to enable you because the most, most important thing is to be as efficient in the process as you can to get your research out as quickly as you can. So take advantage. Um, we actually have a product that helps researchers, especially early researchers, learn how to publish, Wiley Researcher Academy. Mm -hmm. um, stuff like that is really good to help you understand how to get out there quickly and hopefully miss some of the pitfalls um, that you would have in kind of a, a you know, trial by fire or yep. early learning process. Um, and the second part in terms of what would be really, and this is a self-serving self part, I would love to hear more from researchers to Wiley as a publisher or even to the other publishers what we can do to make your lives easier and to help your whole research process and author process become much more efficient. Because the more we can do to help you, the quicker we'll get great science and great research out there to be used. So that's a, kind of a big plea for you, but uh, and again, that kind of re, re, uh, kind of ties into my first comment on the, the researcher as our north star. The more we understand you, the better we can do on behalf of you. The greater our impact that we'll have on research from a broader societal perspective. So, since you opened the door, I'll ask a third question. Uh oh, you're not <laughs> supposed to get three. <laughs> <laughs> Always three. Okay. Uh, so, you asked researchers to reach out to Wiley. How would they reach out to Wiley to? to make their voices heard? Yeah, there's multiple ways you could do that. First, if you know any of editors, whether at Wiley or societies that we publish for, that's a great way to get contact with an editor. But also, I'm wide open to getting emails from researchers. I mean, you could go on our website, there's different people's contact name and emails. We really want to hear from researchers out there in terms of what they need so we can better help. So, okay. Very open on that. Great. You heard it from Judy herself. Yes, and, uh, email me. I'd love to, I'd love to hear. jversus at wiley.com. Beware what you ask uh -oh. for. <laughs> I'll look forward to it. Thank you. Yeah, thank Bye -bye. you.